So whether you're looking to move into the Florence area or you're already living here, then it's very helpful to know the layout of the land. It's very helpful to understand what the different areas of the city or of the county, I should say in this case, have to offer, what the different price points and features are. So that's a lot of what we're trying to cover and relate to you guys on this channel so that you can come here as a resource to have a good overview of everything that Florence, South Carolina has to offer and beyond. But right now we're starting here at home in Florence. With that said, the most obvious thing to do is to get an aerial or bird's eye view of our county and take a look at everything that's going on. And so in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And then if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you that if I were investing in one part of Florence right now, looking forward to the future, the area that I would be most interested in. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today we are gonna go up high and take an aerial bird's eye view of Florence County. Now, the first thing to set this up, Florence, like most places, is divided into quadrants north, east, south, and west. That's what we're gonna be looking at today. Now, one caveat or one thing that I wanna mention about the way that Florence is set up, once we start to get into this data, there is north, east, south, and west, but you gotta put a little star beside east Florence because what I've done in terms of breaking up this data is really separated everything out by school. And so there's three major schools in the district here in Florence. There's West Florence, South Florence, and Wilson High School. That's really how our city's kind of broken up. Notice there's not an East Florence High School. East Florence is zoned with residents that are split between North and South Florence, as you could imagine. Little caveat there to how this is set up, but what I've done is I have broken everything up by schools with a star beside East Florence. And just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. It's kind of relative when we look at this data. The second thing that you also need to have tucked into the back of your mind as we look into this data is that this is all encompassing. This is non-discriminatory data, meaning that there are townhouses and condos, luxury homes, and anything else you can imagine that's residential. All right, it is, this is all residential, but there's anything residential showcased in this data. And from someone who has lived here, I was born and raised in Florence. I've been here for almost 40 years of my life. I'm intimately connected with this community, with this county. And I can tell you that this data does represent or does present a great representation of our current situation in Florence and the makeup of Florence overall at this time and really, really historically for a while. And with that said, the last thing that you just need to know on the front end is that what we're looking at is I've taken all the data for every residential property that either sold or is currently pending from January the 1st, 2023 until today, which is Friday, March the 22nd, 2024. So again, the data we're looking at is everything sold and or pending from January 1st, 2023 until today, March 22nd, 2024. And so with that being said, let's dive right into the data and take a look at Florence County. Okay, so we're gonna be working from this simple spreadsheet that I put together. And as you can see, we do have Florence broke into quadrants, North Florence, East Florence, South Florence, West Florence with that star, I'll put that there so we remember it, by East Florence. Noting that the East Florence, as far as schools go, is actually broken up between Wilson and South Florence. Okay, that's why we got it there in the middle. All right, so let's start with number one on our list, which is North Florence. And so you can see the area that we're looking at when we talk about North Florence here on your map. Now, again, since January the 1st of last year, 2023, there were 99 homes sold in this zone. The average house price in the North Florence area is $244,901.82. The average square foot per house sold 2,113 and two square feet. And we can see that the average price per square foot, $111.07, with an average lot size of just over half an acre. The average year built for the homes in North Florence is 1992. And those homes over the last almost year and a half have been averaging about 70 days on the market. And now again, I just wanna say this one more time, it'll be very quick. This is gonna be very high level today. So I'll tell you this now, but I'm gonna repeat this at the end of the video for those of you that don't stick around to the end. What the plan is, is we are going to drill down further into each one of these quadrants, then drill down even further by neighborhood. 
So what this playlist or this will just be integrated into the, the local playlist is going to be designed to do is to give you a comprehensive look at everything you need to know about Florence County when it comes to shopping for a house or shopping your house on the market in terms of selling it. We need to break this first into quadrants, then we're gonna to start to drill down into each one. And so with that said, just to point out a couple of the features of North Florence, if we zoom in here, North Florence is gonna be the area of town where one thing to notice is that I-95, as you can see here, runs all along the northern part of Florence. If you're living in the North Florence area, you have pretty quick access to Lucas Street taking you right to I-95. Not only that, but as stated, this is where Wilson High School resides in the heart of North Florence. Now, one of the key things that I wanna point out about North Florence is that we've talked a lot on this channel about the AESC battery plant that is being developed in North Florence, actually right across from Wilson. That is extremely current footage, and that's going right here and a lot of you possibly watching this video are going to be future employees or maybe by the time you're seeing this are already employed with the battery plant. And if you look at these statistics that we're going over and then you follow along as we move forward to where we really start to drill down into North Florence by neighborhood, then this may be an area in town that you're considering living due to the commute to work. And to go back to the statistics, just to show those to you, let's breeze through them quickly. And then we're gonna kind of compare all of these when we're done and kind of see what the story of Florence is telling us looking at the data. The average square foot of those homes is just over 2,100 square feet. But the average price per square foot in North Florence is $111, making it the lowest in Florence. Let's go ahead and move over to our next section of town, which is East Florence. The data that we're looking at consists of 56 homes that were sold since January 1st, 2023, coming in at an average price of $196,869.89. Average square foot, 1,647.93 square feet that will cost you an average of $120.25 per. Average lot size, almost identical to that of North Florence. Average year built a little bit newer, 1998. And the average days on market will be the lowest on our list at 49 average days on market over the last 15 months. Some of the key features that East Florence offers would be, let's zoom in a little bit here, Florence Regional Airport is in East Florence, as well as McLeod Regional Center, uh, which is our main hospital here in Florence and the longest standing of the two major hospitals here. Also, the flea market would be out in the East Florence area and Francis Marion University. So if you are parents of a teenager and maybe they're already looking at Francis Marion, perhaps you're moving here due to the battery plant or some other business related reason and you have a up and coming or current college student that's transferring to Francis Marion, planning to attend Francis Marion, you would like to be close to the university, then you may want to consider some of the housing in East Florence. Likewise, if you're a hospital employee or if you're gonna need access to the airport. And so there's the data, the average home price being the lowest, substantially the lowest in Florence is in the East Florence area, but the price per square foot is a little bit higher. And that would be because the homes are a little bit newer on average, as you can see here. Now, moving over to South Florence, you can see there is a gigantic jump in the amount of homes sold. There's a big leap in the amount of data that we have to average out to look at these statistics. And that would be because West Florence and South Florence are home to the vast majority of our residents. And with an average home price coming in at just a hair under a quarter million dollars, the average square footage is higher than that of East Florence at 1,892 square feet with a price per of $131.68 per square foot. The average lot size drops down a little bit, being just under half an acre at 0.48. The average year built being 1999. So a pretty big jump in the activity in South Florence and there's an increase in a lot of those numbers. And when we talk about South Florence, we are looking at this area here on your map. And some of the features that South Florence offers is obviously South Florence High School. A lot of the dining in Florence, a lot of the dining opportunities, some of the shopping is gonna be found in South Florence, not so much in North Florence or East Florence. So South Florence, you're gonna see a big increase in dining options, in shopping options. 
and that's only increasing. There is a lot of development going on. And also South Florence is home to MUSC, which is our newer hospital and second large hospital in Florence. And that leads us to the last on our list, which is my home area, which is where I went to school and was raised in Florence and where I currently reside as well. With 700 homes sold over the last 15 months, we look at the data and we find that by a pretty significant margin, these are the most expensive homes in Florence with an average price coming in at $295,171.96. The average square feet of these homes is also the highest in West Florence at 2,140.47 square feet. And you're also gonna pay the most per square foot in West Florence with an average of $157.61, which is a whopping $26 higher per square foot than the second closest in South Florence. Now on average, you're gonna lose lot size with the average being just under four tenths of an acre at 0.37. Now, this is the one caveat I wanted to mention about condos and townhouses. West Florence is home to most of the condos and townhouses that we've seen activity of over this time period. And that's just the way that it is because there's so much development in terms of condos and townhouses that has gone on over the decades here in Florence. And so that skews that number a little bit. So that number comes in significantly lower because every condo or townhouse is gonna have an acreage of zero. And we didn't filter those out to run this data. So it's just something to keep in mind when we get into the actual quadrants and that's gonna be next. As a matter of fact, the next video that I have planned, we're gonna to plan to do West Florence and we're going to look at West Florence by neighborhood. And when we do that, there's things I'm gonna point out to you about the average lot size. And there are some neighborhoods in West Florence that do have smaller lots, but like I say, when we get into that video, you'll actually be able to see the story that Florence tells in terms of what's happened with lot sizes over the last 40 or 50 years. And what you'll find is there's a lot of options. And the average year built in West Florence, 1997, with an average of 58 days on the market over the last 15 months. Now, as far as West Florence goes, you see the section on your map that we're looking at. One of the reasons that a lot of the development has happened in the west part of Florence, as far as talking about features goes, is this right here. You see this junction with I-95 and I-20. This is right here in West Florence, right by the high school. So West Florence High School is right around the corner from this I-20 and I-95 junction here. That's a big deal. Also, way back in the 90s, they built the Florence Center here in West Florence. So when these major events come to Florence, obviously they'll come here to the Florence Center, it used to be called the Civic Center. And I forgot to mention this, as far as shopping goes, I will just say this, I think it's worth in the general overview mentioning, South Florence has a Walmart Supercenter, West Florence has a Walmart Supercenter. Those are the two locations that have Walmarts. West Florence also has a Target, West Florence also has the Magnolia Mall and the Florence Mall is also at five points in South, and I'm sorry, in West Florence. So really in terms of shopping and food, a lot of your restaurants are gonna be in West Florence, Texas Roadhouse, Longhorns, Olive Garden, the Home Depot, there's a Home Depot and a Lowe's in West Florence. South Florence does also have a Lowe's. Uh, South Florence and West Florence are gonna be your two competing parts of town for food and shopping and entertainment but that scale is tipped a little bit heavier on the side of West Florence. The Swap Fox movie theater is in West Florence. And so that's just to highlight a few things. Again, we'll drill down into those. But in terms of shopping and food, you're looking at West Florence or South Florence. That's gonna be the two main places you're gonna to wanna to consider moving. And of course, you can see that's why the volume is higher, the activity is higher, and the prices are higher because this is where the majority of the development has happened over the years. Makes sense? All right, so as we're closing up here, just to recap, the most expensive part of Florence is going to be West Florence for a lot of the reasons just mentioned above. This is the part of Florence that I live in. Uh, it's by far my favorite part of Florence. I am biased. The numbers speak for themselves. The average price per square foot is significantly higher than the rest of the county. And you can kind of see the tiers. And so the most shopping, the access to I-95 and I-20, the Florence Center, the movie theater, so entertainment, food, the things that people look for, the scales tipped heavily in terms of West Florence. And so you see these numbers are the highest. And we have some great neighborhoods in West Florence. We're gonna to start to look at those very soon. 
Now, I told you at the beginning of the video, I would tell you if I was looking to invest in any of these, any one particular of these quadrants, where would I be looking? It would be South Florence. And the reason is there is a ton of development happening in South Florence and the development that's going on in downtown Florence indirectly or directly feeds South Florence, especially when you start looking at that connection through Church Street coming in through East Florence. So I would be looking in the South Florence area. Everything appears to be developing out. Like I mentioned, the Slim Chickens and the Dunkin' Donuts, just as a light example, but those are right there in South Florence going down Pepco Highway. Uh, when we get into the South Florence video, we'll look at some of the housing developments that are being built in the South Florence area. So there's a lot going on in South Florence, and I would suggest to you that these numbers are going to continue to increase should the market make allowance for such and the economy, of course. A lot to be excited about in South Florence. This is a general overview. We will look at what each one of these quadrants has to offer by neighborhood moving forward. We're going to start, God willing, with West Florence as the plan in our next video. So I hope that you'll stay tuned for that. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, if you're planning to move here, if you're not already a resident in Florence, by the time you're seeing this video, where whenever that may be in time, I would imagine it's helpful. I hope it is. If you find it helpful, please like the video and leave a comment. A lot of you have been commenting about the channel, whether through Facebook or directly to me or on the videos. This is a brand new channel. This channel is only about three and a half, four weeks old. And what we're trying to do is develop something that will present you guys with the data and information that matters the most to you. These are the questions that people have, especially when somebody's looking to make a 150, 250, 350, 750 million dollar investment. They want to understand what their options are. They want to understand the pros and the cons. They want to understand to any degree possible, especially if they're not familiar with the area, what they're getting into. And so that's the thought process and the logic behind these videos. I've got 40 years almost of experience of being intimately connected to this area, to Columbia, South Carolina also, because I spent some time growing up there, and to Myrtle Beach. And so what I want to do is give that wealth of information and experience and knowledge to you by looking at the data and statistics and merging the two together to try to paint for you guys the fullest picture possible of our area, our community, and our market and what it has to offer. And so if you find this content helpful, what I want to ask you to do is not only like the video and comment because it helps to grow the community, but subscribe to the channel and enter into our community. What I want to do is take these quadrants of Florence and drill down one by one by neighborhood so that potentially if you're seeing any of these videos and you have not yet moved to our area, but perhaps you have to for business or you're considering moving here as one of multiple options, you're going to be provided with ample data to make good educated decisions. And as always, if you want to discuss any of these things, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information, as always, is down in the description of the video. You can email me, call me, or text me anytime. And I would love to talk with you about your home buying or selling options. So if you want to schedule a buyer's consultation for free, reach out to me and let's get that scheduled so we can sit down and look at what your needs are and see what the options are. So I'd love to chat with you guys. This channel's really gotten off to a good start. So I'm really excited about where this is potentially going. I'm looking forward to you guys joining our community. And if you're already part of it, one way that you can help that growth and development, as I stated, is please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, like the videos, leave a comment to start conversation or dialogue, but also share the videos. The more that these videos are shared, the more that our community can grow. And that helps me to ensure that I can be here to put in the time to provide this data. That's what I would like to do is give you guys data that you can use that will be of great service to you. That's the mission, that's the goal, that's the purpose. And so I hope that's exactly what you're experiencing so far from this channel. And so with that being said, I wish all you guys the absolute best in your real estate ventures. I love y'all. Y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.